On Wednesday afternoon, Hudson County team went to the West New York Board of Commissioners meeting at the court chambers at Town Hall. They approved the 2013 municipal budget and also appointed a new municipal prosecutor, Mateo Perez. However, Mayor Felix Roque, although he was very relaxed and composed for the majority of the meeting, faced a ton of criticism from residents who wanted answers about how people were evaluated and appointed to the planning and zoning boards in the town of West New York. The hot topic of conversation was Ada Roque, the sister of Mayor Felix Roque, being reappointed to the Housing Authority Board for a term that goes until 2018. Commissioner Cal Wiley brought that matter to the attention of the people in attendance and many residents piggybacked off that, expressing their concerns. Again, go back to what Mr. Commissioner Wiley said, or many people in the audience, about pointing friends and associates close to you. I think we should get away from that practice. I, I, I believe anybody can in, in, read to you. You point to your sister. I'm not picking on your sister. I respect you, your sister. But still, the Roque name, Roque, Roque. Perceptions are very important. And if we're going to be clear, and if we're going to say we're here on behalf of the people, let's not create perceptions like the ones that Commissioner Wally pointed out by putting our relatives on different boards when there's so many of the things that are done in this town are not done by the mayor, are not done by the commissioners, are done by the actions of people who sit on many, many of these boards. So, Mayor, my advice is be careful. My understanding that a lot of the uh, a lot of the appointments have been have been made without resumes, without review of the credentials. Some of the people that are there, sorry, they are not qualified to render opinions on, on this on the subject matter. I, I my recommendation would be review the appointments. I mean, review the resumes when people enforce the regulation. Submit the application, the application is posted on the, on the website, and have them submit a resume. No resume, no appointment. And further, publish those resumes. When you guys run for election, we looked at your credentials. Let the people that are going, that are going to, be, uh, to be appointed have their, their credentials reviewed. I have no problem with my resume being reviewed by the whole town. No problem whatsoever. These people are making decisions that are affecting the future of the town. They should be qualified and they should be committed. It's really objectionable to me that you would remove a board member from the planning board, your sister, mm -hmm. directly related to you, and then you put her back on the housing authority board. You, you know what? That's so objectionable. I'm going to say, Doug, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's tough to deal with a little sister that wants to do right for the town. Let's just, let's just uh, continue with some more factual aspect, aspects of what I what I vote with. I mean, I went to your I don't I don't know what your process has been other than I don't think Commissioner Wiley has seen half the resumes that I've seen, but there have been about fifteen appointments to the planning board, the zoning board, and housing authority since January. I opened I asked Commissioner Frias at the last meeting where are the resumes, what are these credentials for people? And I opened them. I had five. This, I is, had five. this is what I was told by the legal team. Uh, to interview a person, you don't need a resume per se. I am requiring the people uh, to come into my office and tell me about their prior experience. And I'm going to say to you, Doug, uh, most of these people don't have experienced engineers or people hey. like that. We don't have that. We're fishing for salmon and the huts. Well, let's, let's speak to that point that you don't have qualified people. There is. Okay. No, there I'm is not a, saying, Doug, I'm saying they might be qualified people, but I don't have qualified people coming to me and saying I want to be. Well, what happened to Joe Palermo's resume? She's very qualified. She's I'm, I'm going to say, now that we speak, and I got Mrs. Laura Hicks. Uh, she's going to be one of those people that I'm going to be putting on highly qualified. I think that her resume. One of your meetings, you also said that you were going to advertise positions. Was that position advertised? Was uh, was she was contacted position? me? So uh, I'm, I'm going to say I wasn't yeah. able to. I did not see that advertised position, which is something in the in the in the uh, spirit of transparency. You mm -hmm. said you were going to do. Not to mention on your applications that you have, it clearly states mm -hmm. what kind of background you have in these uh, applications. And 
furnish a resume. That's the point. I welcome you to be part of that commission that has it today. I will be on that commission. I'm on for that commission to uh, okay. appoint board members. Yes, and, and I'll get else. you on it. And guess what? Let's, uh, but again, it has to be a non-biased board uh, commission. Because again, Absolutely. It, it, but, but it, it's kind of the, the pot calling the kettle black. Well, Additionally, Hudson County TV was able to catch up with Mayor Felix Roque briefly after the meeting to talk about the recall effort by Commissioner Count Wiley, as well as the resurgence of former Mayor Sal Vega. According to Commissioner Count Wiley, he says his recall effort is about 50% complete, and we also saw Sal Vega is making a comeback now, so I just wanted to get your reaction to both of those things. I'm going to say that when I ran against Sal Vega, I ran against a 51% tax increase, I ran against the cronyism that he had in his administration, I'm going to say that I am doing the best for the town of West New York, not charging one single cent on the house for free, being the mayor. I enjoy what I'm doing. We're building brand new parks. We have maintained taxes stable, and we're trying to grow this town. And you know what? If Sal Vega believes he could do it better, he had his opportunity. But if he wants to join me and make this better, I'm willing to take him on board. As far as Dr. Count Wiley is concerned, you know what? He has the democratic freedom to collect signatures. All I can say that I had over 250 volunteers helping me, and we got close to 6,300 signatures. I'm going to say he doesn't have that many volunteers, but he's got to do what he's got to do. And you know what? It's a free country. God bless America. I'm John Hines with Hudson County TV. For more information, log on to HudsonCountyTV.com.